Previously on the Pom Pom Diaries. I used to do all the same stuff. I know what an eating disorder looks like. You're nothing but a cloud chaser. Go get some self esteem art. Go get some self esteem art. Go get some self esteem art. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to What's Up with Willow. This might be the most epic tea I've ever spilled on my vlog before. So, you guys know those really mean texts I've been getting? Go get some self esteem art. Go get some self esteem art. And like how they suddenly just stopped. I mean, my phone's not blowing up like usual. Is that a bad thing? Am I delusional? Or do you think that Charlie was the one who's been bullying me this whole time? Well, spill the tea, sis. What do you guys do next? Punch him in the throat? Are you gonna put hot sauce up his nose? Please, can you let me handle him? Please, please, can no, I? No, start. Stop looking outside my room. This is like the fifth time I've tried to film this. This house is so small and you're so, so loud and I don't know what else to do. Turn around, forget what you heard, and leave. Uh, no, you need to tell me what happens because no one ever tells me anything. No, what's the point? You're just gonna read it as soon as you get your little grubby hands in my journal anyways. No, not since you changed the password. But please, no. please, please, can you just give me the new one? No, star. no. Please. Trust me, I wish I could just let my little sister take care of all of this. Me and my friends haven't really been the closest recently. I hope I can still count on them for this one. <laughs> Where is he? I'm gonna shove that nerd so far up his locker, it's gonna take a full year to dig him out! Whoa, whoa, Andy, please chill. Are we 100% sure it's Charlie sending these? I mean, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty obvious. Unless you think it could be somebody else? Of course it's him! It's right there in the text! I just want to make sure we're not going after the wrong person. Why don't we just talk to Principal Martin about this? Principal Martin? Really? What? So she can ask him if he did it and he can say no and get away with everything? Boys never get in trouble for this kind of stuff. If we want justice, we gotta handle it ourselves! No way. Last night's Roblox game was crazy. Explosions, boss fights. I jumped off a cliff and annihilated those noobs. The chat was going wild. Victory Royale vibes, you know? Hey, Charlie. Oh, hey, girls. And it's Chaz, by the way, but what can I do? <laughs> do these messages to Willow look familiar to you? Oh my god, that's, that's horrible. Are you being bullied? Oh, I can't believe this. Stop capping, you psycho simp. We know it was you. What do you mean? Check my phone, it's clear. He was, I don't know, maybe he's telling the truth. You know what? Come here. What? What was that? Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear anything. It's, it's probably <laughs> just a scoop. I knew it! I knew it, I knew it. You are so busted. Ladies, get ready to cancel this pathetic piece of garbage. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, I just... You just what? Had to harass me for months. Why do you even want to date me if you're just gonna say all those mean things to me? I I'm sorry. I I'm weird. I have problems, okay? I I'll apologize. To everyone. What? Charlie? No. Charlie beat. Everyone! I have a confession. I sent some really messed up messages. Like a lot. I just really liked her and I didn't know how to get her attention. I also paid her $400 to pretend to be my girlfriend. I'm really sorry and I just wanted to be cool and have some friends. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. And that's when my heart dropped, like into my stomach. You know, like when you feel like you're gonna throw up. I mean, did he actually have to say that in front of everybody? Was that really unnecessary? Wait, Willow. What is he talking about? He paid you to be his girlfriend? No, it was it was pretend. It was a prank, you know? Wait, he paid you to lie to us and you took the money? I wouldn't say it like that, but I mean. Then how would you say it, Willow? It's your call was coming up and I had to, I. I look around and I just see my classmates and my friends and I feel like there's alternating against me at the same time, right then and there. And then I just keep on shrinking, I feel tinier and tinier until I don't think I even matter to them anymore. Uh, I gotta get to class. I'll talk to you later. But you know what? I need a minute, Willow. But... Thanks. Thanks a lot. No problem. It felt super good to get off my chest. I will never recover from this. High school, college, 
Who knows? I'll just be remembered as that one girl who got paid to be a nerd's girlfriend. Oh, hey Andy, what's up? I was about to go and grab a comb. You wanna come? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm sorry about what I said on the phone the other night. You're right, I really do have a problem. It's okay, you don't have to be sorry. It was really hard for me to admit I had an eating disorder too. After I got off the phone with you, I passed the home of four in front of my mom. I thought I had it all under control, but I obviously don't. It's okay, trust me. You have your mom and you have your friends to help you get through this. Wait, no, no, no. You're not saying a word about this to anyone. But Andy, you just said it. You can't handle this on your own. I don't care what I said. If you tell anyone about this, I will ruin you. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. I've heard what happened today. Are you okay? Have you heard? I've been canceled. Canceled? Says who? Not me. Whatever. You heard what happened, right? Yeah, but honestly, that Chaz guy's vibes have just been off since a damn met him. I mean, it's just mid. I had to go to cheer con, and I was desperate. Anyways, the whole thing's cringe. I regret every single part of it. Listen, you don't have to explain it to me, okay? I'm here for you. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like we've known each other for our whole lives. I'm never trying to guess what he's feeling or what he's wondering, if he's judging me or not. It just, I guess, is different. Oh, hey. Hey. It's kind of awkward, huh? Yeah. Today's been real. By the way, um, if Monica tells you any like crazy stuff about me, like it's not true. Okay. Well, do I look like the person that believes anything that Monica says? What happened? Is she on your bad side again? No, nothing like that. Monica really isn't that bad, honestly. Well, I really have to tell you something that might change your mind about her. Wow, I can live with you all day! Yeah, yeah, you're finally back. Do I even have to tell you? Get out of my room. What? No, not until you tell me what happened. Did you destroy him in front of the whole school? Did Andy break his nose? Okay, just just tell me, please. Come on, tell me what happened. I'm the one who got destroyed in front of the whole school. What? How? He's the bully. Come on, that's not fair. Well, Star, life isn't fair. And besides, everyone thinks I'm a loser. A loser? You're not a loser. You're my big sister. You are the coolest, most smartest, most prettiest girl in that whole school. Trust me. Thanks. I really needed that. Love you. Love you. Mwah. Ew. What's up with Andy? She keeps disappearing after practice. I know. She hasn't been changing in the locker room. It kind of feels like she's hiding something. Yeah. Oh, Monica. Did you take the wrong turn or something? Yeah, what's up? Is the dance team waiting outside to beat us up or something? No, I wanted to talk to you guys about Andy. I normally don't take what Monica says seriously, but as she explains it, I realize I've never really seen Andy eat. She always sneaks off to the bathroom, and she never stops talking about dieting and losing weight. She thinks she can do it on her own, but trust me, it's much harder than that. She really needs her friend right now. Andy said that you were going to say something crazy like that and I shouldn't believe you. And I don't. Exactly. She would tell us if she was going through something like that. Exactly. She wanted me to keep her secret, but secrets like these are dangerous. Yeah, just like your secret, Monica. What are you talking about? Yeah, Casey, what are you talking about? Thank goodness, Monica's getting canceled instead of me. Except, it wasn't what I expected. At all. Next time on the Pom Pom Diaries. He stole the fundraiser money and threw Monica under the bus. Quit with the drama, Bailey. Coach is in her office right now, so let's go get this started.